What is up, Eagles gang? It's your boy Vic. Welcome back to Vic Talks Eagles, the show where we talk all things Philadelphia Eagles. If you like this Eagles content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow. But now, let's get to the business. As you all know, Eagles were in Cleveland for their second preseason game. Uh, they ended up winning the game, but it doesn't really matter for in terms of uh, results and points. I thought the run game looked pretty good. As we all know, the starters didn't play as they got enough work during the joint practices. But like I said, the run game looked pretty good starting off with uh, Boston Scott. He led the, let him down, I think it was 11 carries in a row, ended up with a touchdown. Same thing with Kenny Gainwell, when, when it was his turn to run the ball, they marched down the field and they with the touchdown, which was good to see. That means our backup linemen are have he shows that we have good depth in our offensive line. One of those that keeps standing out, and I'm going to keep bringing up is how impressive he's been, is Cam Jurgens. He's just throwing dudes out there, left and right. And for us to have a, a guy that's going to pretty much fill in for Jason Kelsey, ready to go, um, and he's as he's training him now, that's just beneficial for us and the depth for our offensive line. Uh, keeping on the offense, uh, the receivers that it really impressed were Deion Kane as he had those uh, think back shoulder fades down the sideline from Minshew. Uh, he looks good. Uh, reports from camp are saying that uh, he's really been doing that all pre our preseason during training camp. If you're up to me, if you're up to Jalen Rager and Deion Kane, I'm taking Deion Kane. Uh, he's fit more physical. He's a little bigger uh, statue. I think he's 6'2". And he's just shown he's been more reliable and than Jalen Rager has been. Also, Devin Allen, he had that big 55-yard touchdown from Reed Sinet. Uh, we all know he has world-class speed as an Olympic hurdler, but I just don't see him making this team because the receivers' uh, room is just so deep. Unless he can be a practice squad guy, I don't see him making this team. Uh, another player that's sticking out on defense is undrafted free agent corner Josh Job from Alabama. He's just been climbing up uh, the depth charts, making plays when he's out there, showing that he can really hang in an, as an NFL corner. Sorry. Um, the rumor is, not that I'm, I'm a deep diver, but rumor is, is that he's pretty much a lock to make the 53. It'd be surprised if he, he didn't make it. Also, I'm sure you guys have seen that Kareem Hum would welcome a trade to the Eagles. Uh, there's even a photo of uh, him talking to Nick Sirianni on the sideline from this past uh, joint practice. If we could somehow get rid of Jalen Rager or whatever it would take to get Kareem Hum on this team, uh, I think it's beneficial for us to do it. He, I think he even said he would be willing to sign long term. But let me know what you guys think. You think the Eagles would trade for Kareem Hum? Type yes or no down below. But other than that, I mean, the Eagles are headed to Miami for their joint practice there for two two joint practices, I believe, before they close out the preseason. Uh, should be interesting uh, for them to match up against Tua, uh, the Alabama guys down there, Waddle. And interest, interesting to see the matchups with uh, Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle against our defense and how we match up, and as well as how our offense uh, continues to dominate uh, the Dolphins defense. But that's pretty much it for now, guys. Uh, I'll probably be making another video before that preseason game, so look out for that. Uh, once again, if you could like and subscribe, I really appreciate that. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Big Talks Eagles. Peace.